A man is under arrest this afternoon, accused of killing a woman and dumping her body in the White River. This happened more than four years ago. Jenny Bolton House was found dead in 2017, and the cold case has been under investigation until now. Fox 59's Jesse Wells shows us what led to a break in the case. The suspect is being held without bond tonight here at the Marion County Jail. After being arrested this week, he denied having any involvement in the 2017 killing, but more than a half dozen witnesses are telling a different story. In February 2017, strangers spotted a woman's body floating in shallow water along the banks of the White River. They were fishing and they were walking the bank and those are the people that found the body. That victim, 30-year-old Jenny Boltinghouse, died after being shot in the head. Later that same year, the homicide detective working the murder asked for help with the unsolved case. Who is responsible for the murder of Jenny Boltinghouse, the mother of three children? Despite that plea, the killing went unsolved for more than four years until now. According to this probable cause affidavit, police believe Ricky Eaton killed Boltinghouse because she had stolen some tools from his garage. I could guarantee you the detectives up in Homicide, we don't forget our cases, especially the open ones. And um, our goal is to find the people responsible and, and, and make a case. Detective Jose Torres, who was still working the case years later, claims one of Eaton's family members came forward in May of this year followed by six other witnesses who insist Eaton bragged about the murder along the river but threatened to kill them if they ever spoke to police. People coming forward is um, paramount because we don't know unless we're told. Torres believes finding some long-awaited justice for the Bolting House family proves how witness testimony is critical to solving homicides, both new and old alike. We have to build a case to prove the case and we need people to come forward. A search of police records shows close to half of the 178 homicides from 2017 remain unsolved. That's why anyone with information on any unsolved case is still asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Fox 59 has launched a new crime mapping project. Our goal is to give you more information about where crime is happening and what steps city leaders are pledging to take to make sure they solve the issue. Go to fox59.com slash crime mapping. There are a lot of resources there, including an interactive map that breaks down homicides neighborhood by neighborhood. Indiana is getting more money.